going on with my video to to show about the problem I'm having with with propeller head record with the audio. So when I scroll up and down, basically you can see that um you know the sound seems to be working. and for edit preferences um, I have I have four output channels but I only have two two input channels and I think I'm gonna need four input channels actually to be able to record and um, hear what I'm recording at the same time um, so yeah that's basically the problem I'm having I just updated to the ACO version 2.10 instead of the 2. Point, I think it was 2.8 I had before. And um before I was having a different problem, but now the problem is that I don't have enough audio input channels um to do what I need. Before I did that though, I I was actually having a problem with like this echoing kind of almost like a a speedier type of sound like it sounded like a mini person talking. So when I'm using the ACO driver, this is what what I have going on here. is the wiring at the back of the rack you can see that I only have two inputs um this is usually the way I have I had it wired um the one that you just saw like the way that it just shows it is that um my default my audio default um wiring is a little you know it it it's kind of not connected the way it should be but when I connect it, this is what happens. It looks alright, but basically you can't see, um, well you can't hear what you're recording. When I record here, I'm just saying, basically I'm just saying hello, hello, hello. Testing one, two, three. Then I, I tap the mic a couple times. That's what those, those peaks are. And... When I play it back, it says that there's output, but you can't hear anything at all. The only way to be able to hear anything is if I change back to the primary sound driver. Then you can hear when I say testing one, two, testing one, two, three. It doesn't show it in this video because I'm recording the, the audio separately from the video because my my video maker it doesn't it doesn't record those the audio at the same time. So this is the primary sound driver and when I'm playing it back it does actually play back exactly. It it doesn't have that effect it was having before with the it doesn't it doesn't have all that echoing and messed up sound that it had when I had the not updated driver. When I go into my sound settings, this is basically what I have going on. Um, here's the speakers. I'll just show you what I have. This is how it's set up right now. The speakers, drivers, details. Um, yeah, and for the levels, for the speakers, and enhancements. Advanced, it's set to 16 bit right now. Um, 
comes to the microphone. These are the settings I have. Reconnect. It's turned all the way up. And it shows that I only have two channels for the mic. I'm gonna go back to that sound settings for the interface. I have two channels. So that's what I have going on for my sound settings. So if I change it back to the ACO, we're a primary sound driver now, but change it back to the ACO. Basically, I don't have access to the input channels, so I can't really do much changing of anything with that. So I'm basically trying to find out how to have access to to another two input channels, so that I can set up the wiring, so that I can record and hear what I'm recording at the same time. And also so that when I play back, I can hear what I have recorded before if I want to record um, something on top of that on a different, a different layer.